Hi friends, it's Miss Amy. I have a really fun project for you guys to do. This is with our physics and art making pendulum art. You might remember I've done this before in classes at the end of the year um, a couple years ago. And I'm going to show you guys how to kind of set this up. It's good to do this outside if it's a nice sunny day and if you can pull together all these materials and that way you have lots of room to work and if you make a mess it's not so much of a big deal if you're doing it on the driveway or you're doing it on a, a drop cloth. Okay, the setup that we have here is we have two chairs kind of facing back and back, back to forth from each other. And I have a big broom here holding on to the side. And on the broom is a cup that I have poked some holes in. And um, if you notice, I have strung the string on those two holes and made a knot above it so it's kind of dangling from there and then I can just slip it right onto the uh, broom and that's where we're going to be putting in the paint and then we're going to put paint right underneath here and I'll show you how that works. So I didn't poke a hole at the bottom just yet. I'm going to wait until I'm all set up and then I'll poke that hole and then put paint into it. So let's see. Okay, if it's a windy day, like it is for us today, make sure you have some rocks holding down your paper on either ends. Ellie's got the hole punched in there, and she's gonna do the spinning, so you're gonna put your finger underneath that hole. And the paint that you use has to be a little, it has to be pretty liquid, it has to be kind of... Yeah, it's okay, I'll show you what to do. You don't want it to be too thick, so you can water down um, acrylic paint or a temper paint if you have it. So it's kind of like a, I don't know what kind of consistency, like, like a yogurt or something like that. Yeah, Maybe I'm, a little bit less than I'm a yogurt. I'm painting enough already. So All right, I'm so just... Ellie, you might want to step a little bit off the paper. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a little bit of uh, paint in here, like maybe about that much. And whoever is holding it has their finger covering that hole so the paint doesn't drip out. And Ellie, what you're going to do is when I tell you to, you're going to kind of pull it back. Okay, just practice it. So pull it back and let it go. So you're just going to let it go. You can kind of make it see if, it, if you want it to go in a circle. But here's the thing, it's going to move on here. Yeah, so it might need Why don't we just tape it? You could tape it if you don't want it to move. Do you want to get some tape? You could do yeah. that. Be right back. Okay, so it's important to step out, do not step on your paper because it will get paint. And I have a drop cloth underneath here just to protect the area that I'm working so it doesn't start. Sometimes it goes off the paper. So Ellie, are you ready? Ready. Should we do a little bit of the silver and the... Yeah, we should put the silver first. Okay. If you can, kind of shake it a little bit. Turns it up. And then whenever you are ready. Ready? Uh-huh. <laughs> so let it go. I think what it is. Nope, nope, nope. So as you're going to think, as it's swinging, my, my, either the hole's not big enough or the paint is too thick. I think the hole's not big enough. Give me the hole. So let's start with maybe trying making the hole a little bigger. So pull it back. making sure I can kind of pull it aside so the paint doesn't get stuck on the arch. Alright, are you ready? Ready, let's right, do so Pour some, put a little bit more paint in there. Okay. Hopefully this is liquidy enough. Yes! So when you pull it back forward, let it go, let it go, just let it go. You'll notice that it starts to kind of like go back and forth. And that is the way it's just pouring out. Obviously, if you want a little more of a design, you can get it to kind of curve around into oh, a we're circle. Out of paint yeah. So let's move it down, and we'll start another one. There you go. And if it doesn't go out at first, relax. Maybe it'll let it go. I'm trying to open up the hole. There we 
to go, oh, shit. oh, that's the good kind. So you'll see that it'll make this really cool kind of ellipse, almost like a galaxy or something like that. Um, and if you use some really good colors, it'll look really, really cool. Wet. I think it turned out great. Yeah. Oh. We're all, you know. Well, that right. turned out less water than last. As you can see, we had to try lots of times until we kind of got what we wanted. So don't give up if it doesn't work on the first try. Just keep trying, keep thinking what's going to work better. Do you need to do higher? Do you need to make it lower? Do you need to swing it hot, faster? Do you need to put less paint in? You know, that's what thinking like a scientist is, but also thinking like an artist. So um, have fun. Make a lot of mess. Learn something new. Try something hard. See you guys.